What's up guys? Uh, this video is going to be a whole lot different from the rest of my videos. Um, this one's going to be more of a vloggish like atmosphere. So it will consist of mostly just me talking. I may throw in a couple little clips here and there of different stuff. But I just wanted to give you guys an update of what the channel is going to uh, go towards in the future. A um, couple more updates too. Uh, the, the two biggest updates that I wanted to throw out is one, I finally got a haircut. Did it myself. Looks pretty bad, especially with a hat on. But uh, that back looks glorious. <laughs> so yes, I do have a mullet now. Um, that's what I've been waiting to grow the hair out for so I didn't have that awkward mullet stage where it just looks really, really bad. And the second update that I wanted to throw out to you guys is one of my best buds, Brian Andrews, real great guy. Uh, this guy is, uh, he's usually one of my good adventure buddies, one of my good camping buddies, one of my good drinking buddies. And uh, he is going to be giving me a GoPro. And so with that, I'll be able to film at least a chest point of view or even, you know, a helmet type point of view. Um, so the filming process will actually look cleaner and look better and the transitions will be a lot nicer. So definitely look forward to that. A um, couple goal video ideas I want to throw out in the future is one, you're going to have to definitely look forward to it, but there is one main video that I want to do upcoming with uh, my cousin at my cousin's pond from you know the previous video but we're wanting to do a 12 beer challenge so we each take a 12 pack we each shotgun a beer every single time we catch a bass so it's definitely going to be a good time the goal is to drink all the beers instead of the goal being to catch fish but to drink the beers we have to catch the fish that's the catch see what i did there so we're definitely going to do that in the near future it'll probably be friday when we start filming that one uh friday or saturday it just really depends on what our schedules are looking like uh that one will be accompanied by my cousin hunter um at my cousin travis's house so we have a pretty large family um the next big video that i want to do I'm going to go ahead and throw this out there for you guys. I want to do, I don't know when I'll do it, but I want to do what I'm going to call the White Trash Bass Bash. Yeah, it's kind of a tongue twister. But I found this incredible pond that is actually on some really nice property. Um, apparently, there's some really big bass in it. I haven't gotten a fish it yet. Uh, I do have a clip of me standing, you know, on what we're going to use to fish with and uh so you guys can get at least a good point of view of the of the pond if i still have the video i'm not sure if i do or not if not it'll definitely you'll definitely see it when the video comes out the goal and intention of that video though is i'm going to get a group of three or four friends possibly four so i have two people filming two people drinking and then uh we're gonna have two people fishing two people drinking and then we're gonna have all four of us uh, actually paddling this big old device. But it's an old pontoon boat that is completely gutted. The only thing it is is a pontoon barge, just the deck. There's no trolling motor, there's no gas motor. Uh, there's not going to be any chairs, any tables, any gear like that. It's literally just gonna be a floatable deck that we're gonna paddle across this entire pond. Um, and then, of course, we're going to add in some beer. And it's probably going to be some really, really crappy, cheap beer. Something like Ham, something like Keystone, something like Natty. Uh, definitely stay tuned in for that one. Because it's just going to get absolutely wild. It's just going to be us freaking filming the most white trash fishing event ever. Um, one of the next things I want to do, because, of course, you guys will see it. But uh, every Saturday, or at least every other Saturday, I want to throw out a series called Silly Saturday. I'm going to have merch that actually has Silly Saturday on the uh, on t-shirts and everything. It's going to be great. Um, American flag color scheme. It's got some fireworks on it. It's got my logo for Golly Guy on it. It's going to be really cool merch. Um, I'll definitely put the link in that below. But 
for 4th of July where it falls on a Saturday. Every 4th of July, me and my friends, we absolutely raise all kinds of hell. So, I don't know what all is going to go be going on. There's going to be a lot of beer drinking. There's going to be a lot of lake swimming. There's going to be a lot of dumb jokes, a lot of dumb shenanigans. There's going to be plenty of... Uh, Plenty of cornhole if we ever build new cornhole boards. And trust me, we used to play cornhole in uh, the parking lot, some of the storefronts all the time. So we got kind of a Summersville, West Virginia reputation for just being absolute idiots. So stay tuned in for that one as well. That'll probably launch the Saturday after July 4th though. So that's the only downside. You guys will have to wait about a week for that one. It should be a big video though. I'd say around 24, 25 minutes. It could even be longer. I'm not sure yet. Just depends on how much footage I get and how good the footage is, really. So now we are on our way to Cowan, West Virginia to meet up with my buddy Brian, who is giving me this GoPro. He's giving me the chest strap and he's giving me a helmet mount. Um, not sure entirely what model it is, it does have the square front lens, so I want to say it's at least a 3 plus. Um, but heck, even a GoPro Hero 1 would probably satisfy me for what I'm going to use it for. Uh, definitely want to have a lot of fun with that thing. A couple other ideas in the future. Uh, another buddy of mine, Scott Stewart, just recently got a John boat. He's in the works of putting a title and the registration to it. And then, of course, we'll have a trolling motor and a battery for it. So there is an extra John boat for us to fish and film on. He lives two minutes from the Somersville Lake, so I'm sure we will be dropping in at Battle Run quite a bit. Um, really good smallie fishing, really good largemouth fishing, um, plenty of rock bass or red eye, whatever you call it. You know, I guess to each their own. Everybody calls it something different. But there's definitely gonna be a lot of fishing on that thing and it's gonna be a blast. Um, just keep up with the channel, guys, because it's, it's only gonna progress. That's all I can say. So, here's a quick driving montage. Pop up and down headlights, uh. Pop up up and down headlights, uh. That was stupid. Looks like old B Rise pulling in. What up, Brian? Uh, what up? That'd probably be a smart idea to actually drop. <laughs> oh, so, good old Brian. Has us the GoPro chest strap in the old GoPro itself. itself. Woo! There we go. Like what you, you cleaned your beard up, didn't you? I cleaned up my beard I, and, I my and and check this out. Dude, sick mullet, bro. Thanks, bro. I'm getting there. All right, guys. Welcome to my dirty garage. I figured I'd add a little bit to the uh, the vloggish style video that I've been doing and uh, just kind of 
found a couple more ideas that I've been running through the old the old uh, noggin. So another thing I want to add is I think on Wednesdays, um, my buddy Ryder Collins and I are going to start filming some of his workout sessions. Um, I probably should work out myself since, you know, I got these a little bit. I got this a little bit. And uh, this stuff right here doesn't help. So I definitely need to probably start getting a good pump on. But yeah, we're going to start doing a uh, workout Wednesdays uh, section into my channel. Um, kind of just be for fun, instructional. And uh, my buddy Ryder, he actually has a couple bodybuilding sponsors already. So hopefully this will help him out a lot too. Um, maybe he can get a little bit more sponsors. So he can start picking up, you know, more pre-workout, more, uh, you know, post-workout product, you know, the works, whatever. But while I get ready to uh, spool the old Abby Garcia Black Max, I want to talk about the next video idea I'm going to do, and it may even launch the day after you guys see this. But my mom ended up going to a place called Bid Wars in Somersville, and she ended up winning a bid for couple plastics and uh they're really really bad yeah really bad she got them for dirt cheap but they are really really bad uh they're called lucky strike uh this is i'll go ahead and save the better one for for last so the first one is this little tiny almost yellow perch ish uh maybe like a the scheme looks like a walleye, but the color scheme is definitely yellow perch, you know, considering that underbelly being orange. But, I mean, these things just, they kind of look a little horrid, in my opinion. So here's a good look at them. It's definitely got a little U-tail, uh, the little orange fins. It's got the black dorsal fin. They just look really bad. No salt, so... They're just a little grub worm. Um, the second one she got. Go ahead and pull one out. Show you guys the bag. Is another one. Same brand. Uh, Lucky Strike. It's the same exact bait. The only difference is this one is about twice in size. And I don't even know what fish this would even be. But when I say twice the size, I mean some of them are twice the size. Some of them are or not it's it's like i got some hand-me-down misprints i don't know but here is the color scheme for the other one so you got that kind of clear underneath uh you've got like a light brown orange brown up top and then you still have that orange fin on the bottom and the last one i was going to show you guys before i start spooling this bait caster up it's another thing i want to talk about in just a quick second is another brand of Lucky Strike. Um, now these don't look horrible. Of course, they're super glitter, uh, super vibrant orange. So it it might be good in certain situations, but the actual shape of these ones is what I actually like. So as you can tell, it's just a small uh, small fluke worm. So I think these will definitely have the best action out of all of them, uh, or at least I hope so. So. The main goal of the next video is, I think what I'm going to do is just go out, possibly right at the butt crack of dawn, and uh, attempt a full fishing vid for you guys. So I'm going to go out and try to catch some bluegill, some little panfish, uh, try to get a nice crappie or two. I mean, these, these are definitely crappie colors. So as you can see, I went ahead and jigged it up a little bit right in a little uh chartreuse yellow white with a red eye jig head so i don't know i just don't know they may work i may be speaking so ill of them that i'm just downgrading myself and uh not believing in the product's quality but the actual the fish designs they they look horrible. They're horrid. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to throw on, too, because I think this will make the video just a wee bit more fun. Uh, this is not my rod. This is my uncle's. He got it for Christmas this year. And uh, here it is. 
It is the Luse Tele Speed. I think it's a four foot pole, maybe four and a half. It actually doesn't even tell you the specs. Oh, it does. It's four foot six, guys, with uh, light action, which you'll start discovering. I'm not big on light action poles, but teach their own. I like me a medium heavy or a heavy with extra fast or just fast. That is my ideal setup. But as you guys can see and hear the drag, it actually extends. And uh, I hooked myself with EWG because that's what was on it. So yeah, there's four pound mono on it right now. Um, this would be an ideal trout setup. Just hit some tailwaters. Being able to pack this in just about any vehicle, I mean any, you could probably honestly you could probably pack it on a motorcycle if you really wanted to. Just one of the little side bags on the motorcycle. You could fold this bad boy down like so and put it in a pocket. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to pretty much we're going to go pocket jigging tomorrow or the next day. Depends on whenever you guys see this. But yeah, we are going to use these. We are going to use this, and uh, we're going to go try to catch catch a trophy bluegill with just that. I think that'd be great. Tell me what you think. Or don't. I don't care. You guys can comment and tell me how stupid I am for all I care. But uh, please don't do that. And here's what I was going to actually get up to before spooling this thing. Um, whatever you guys do. If you're hard up on money, try to try to just wait it off. Or if you're, you know, if you can, borrow a couple extra bucks. But please don't, in my personal opinion, don't buy Zebco Omniflex from Walmart. I got some 15-pound mono right here. I think it's 3 bucks for a 500-yard spool. So that sounds absolutely unbelievable. But I'm telling you one thing. Um, if you guys see in a previous video, I don't know if I'll include all the backlashes I did on this rod and reel, but, um, it was bad. I had so much memory on my line and I've only had that line on this rod for maybe, maybe three weeks. It was really great. It cast really fine, uh, for the first couple weeks. And then, I don't know, after it just sat in the garage or sat in the car, you know, on the trips to the fishing locations it just seemed like it developed so much memory it was ridiculous um i mean anytime you had just a little bit of slack it just instantly wanted to curl back up into a ball so not very good in my personal opinion so if you can spare at least just a couple extra bucks or borrow a couple extra bucks at least step up to maybe some berkeley trialene so this is some berkeley trialene in 15 pound mono uh it's in the uh moss green or green whatever color scheme you want to call it so that is my suggestion guys just spend a couple extra bucks for some line just a couple unless you can find a smoking deal like I did on this even though it's red and uh, I don't really fish the depths enough to use red line but found some actual must add seven pound mono it's 328 yards no idea why it's kind of a, a 330 or 320 or 300, but I found that two dollars at Gabe's, so I was really really excited over that. So I guess that's the end of this section of the video. So have fun. It was it was a good vlog. It was a good video, I guess. I don't know. We'll uh, we'll talk about another thing before I go. I will be launching a merch store using Spreadshirt. So with Spreadshirt, you can pretty much put your own logo, which I have two logos already made up. There may even be a third by the time I launch. But I'm going to uh, throw that web store out. There's a couple different t-shirts. Um, I'm going to show you guys kind of a little teaser that I recorded just using a phone app, going to the website itself and just pulling up a couple of the shirts. Uh, there's going to be female shirts. There's going to be a couple hoodies. I think there's one 
baseball style hoodie for men's. There's a couple different colors for the woman's. There's going to be a really cool American flag style shirt with uh, my future Silly Saturday series videos. Uh, that is going to be a whole separate logo. Uh, stuff like camping mugs. Um, you can get a uh, little jar for drinks, mixed drinks, margaritas, whatever. But uh, you guys definitely should check that out before July 4th because that's, that's when you want to rock this American flag gear. So... See you guys in a bit.